Out of all the questions that need to be answered in the final season of Better Call Saul, maybe the most interesting is the fate of Gene. I've had many discussions with viewers about Gene and how they want his story to end, and the common theme has been that people want him to have a happy ending. And for me, I feel the same way at times. A couple months ago, Peter Gold asked the viewers to consider this very difficult question. What does Gene deserve? It's a question that requires some deep thinking, and for starters, I think it's safe to say that most characters in Breaking Bad quote-unquote got what they deserved. Walter deserved to die, so did Gus. Jesse probably suffered more than any character in the show, but he got a well-deserved hopeful ending. You could make the argument that Mike didn't deserve what he got, but to be fair, he was intensely loyal to a very bad man. The true victims of injustice in Breaking Bad were definitely Walt's family, Skyler, Marie, Walt Jr., Hank, Holly... Gene is all alone in Nebraska. His parents are dead, Chuck is dead, so when we talk about Gene getting a happy ending, there's really only one option. Now Jesse's happy ending was not dependent on another character. He was a slave for many years and not just to Jack and Lydia. He didn't need a 500 days of summer ending. He drove away by himself, but he was a free man with a future. That was sufficient. I don't see Gene getting an ending where he makes a surprisingly moral decision to show his personal growth, and then that's it. Any happy ending will have to involve Kim, assuming she's still alive. Now, the one idea that's been thrown around is Gene and Kim meet again in Omaha, and then the color comes back to the screen. And I'm sure most of you would consider that to be a little bit over the top, and I get that, but it certainly would be the most generous ending for Jimmy. Now, getting back to Peter Gold's question... Does Jimmy deserve this type of ending? Now, the answer to this question depends greatly on how you view morality and justice. It seems to me that the writers have condemned most characters through the Western Judeo-Christian moral lens. For instance, Walter's downfall was a product of pride, which was the worst of the seven deadly sins. You can agree or disagree with this moral system, but I think it's clear that's the one currently in use. And you can watch my video on the teddy bear eye if you want to hear more about the role religion plays in the Breaking Bad universe. On the surface, it's kind of hard to believe that anyone thinks Gene deserves a happy ending. I mean, if you think about it, he stole from his parents as a child, he conned people when he was a teenager, and as an adult, he committed countless crimes. A law firm actually analyzed Breaking Bad and found that Saul committed almost 70 crimes, including conspiracy to commit murder, extortion, money laundering, incitement, blackmail, and criminal conspiracy. And of course, most of these crimes are done in service of murderous drug lords. I think part of the reason that viewers have a fond view of Jimmy is that he's been betrayed by the people closest to him. In Better Call Saul, his career is held down by his own brother, a brother who Jimmy spends countless hours taking care of. If you go back to his life before Better Call Saul, his wife cheats on him with a guy who owed him money, and then in Breaking Bad, he has to deal with constant threats from Walter. And to go along with this, Jimmy also does have some good qualities, his care for Kim being the most notable, I mean, in that scene with Mike in Season 5, you I mean, you can see he really, really does care about her. But with that said, those who he doesn't have a special relationship with, like Kim or Chuck, he tends to treat them like pawns in his game. And we don't get to know most of the people that Jimmy hurts, but they certainly do exist. So does his personal victimization and love for Kim absolve him from the many crimes he's committed? Does it absolve him from his greed and his pride? I think it'd be difficult to argue that it does. But if he doesn't deserve a happy ending, what ending does he deserve? We've been told that the final season of Better Call Saul will significantly alter the way we view Breaking Bad, so it may be a little early to judge Jimmy, but as things stand, I think Jimmy is already receiving the perfect punishment for his actions. Jimmy has always been a flamboyant person who likes being the center of attention. There isn't a single person from Albuquerque who doesn't recognize his face. His job in Nebraska is perfect because he's forced to be irrelevant. He is what he was before Better Call Saul, but now he's completely alone. If that was how we left Gene, I would have no problem with it. Being in a Cinnabon prison opposed to a federal prison also allows Jimmy to correct some of the mistakes he's made. If he corrects some mistakes in Omaha, that will not deem him worthy of a Jesse-like ending, but it'd show the truth of the man we've been watching for nearly a decade at this point. He's a criminal and he's a con man, he's greedy and selfish, but he's also a deeply damaged man, a damaged man who is capable of being kind and caring. Jimmy doesn't belong in heaven and he does not belong in hell. He belongs in a place equivalent to purgatory, and I think the Cinnabon is that place. 
And I'm sure, as most of you know this already, but Kim Wexler is from Nebraska. If she survives and returns home, maybe after a prison sentence or something, she's going to meet Jean. And if this meeting does occur, I predict that they won't say a single word to each other. I think we would get a situation akin to La La Land, but with a much different tension. And hopefully, the sight of Kim would inspire Jean to accept his role in purgatory. The question is a difficult one because there are so many layers up for debate. If you have your own thoughts, please let me know in the comments section. And also subscribe if you're interested in more Better Call Saul content. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day.